Hello and welcome to the Farmer's Kitchen. Hello, Mrs. Farmer. Hello, Mr. You're Farmer. You're looking ravishing as usual. You look very ravishing yourself. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> you know what? We've got a busy kitchen. Yes, we do. We've got stuff going everywhere. Why? <laughs> Why? Because it's hog killing time. That's right. In the old days, they didn't waste anything. Mm -hmm. And the old timers used to say, at hog killing time, they ate everything but the squeal. That's right. They didn't waste anything. And that's admirable. Mm -hmm. As we look around, you see stuff that you normally wouldn't think of. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to change your mind. Okay. Right? All right. So tonight, we're going to make breakfast sausage. Now you think about it. Let's go back and look at all the things we've done. We've made ham with our buddy Jay. We've smoked hams. We've made bacon. We've done a seven-day cure. We've done a three-day cure. Mm -hmm. And the three-day was probably just as good as the seven. So we do a lot of three-day cures, which we're going to get ready to do very shortly. Brats. We have made bologna. We have made sausages. We've made all kinds of stuff. But what we haven't done is make breakfast sausage. What do you think about today's breakfast? It was sausage? very, very good. Really good. And, okay. and you don't like hot stuff, and it's right, very hot. Right, that's good. So what we're going to do here, just to get started, because the process has to begin, we're going to take our, our pig's feet. Yummy. We're going to have pickled pig's feet later. I know that sounds to Delicious. some people that sounds crazy, but don't knock it until you try it. I wish Sammy was here. Look at all. I mean, seriously, look at the end of this. Look at all the meat that's on there. Think about, think about what's wasted if you throw this away. Everything. But the squeal. This will be your lunch. So here's how we're going to get these started before we start our breakfast sausage. We're going to put the top on there in a minute. We're going to get those boiling and then kind of crank it back just a little bit. We're going to keep those cooking for about an hour and a half till it starts to, the meat starts to come off okay. the bone. And you're going to love them so much you'll probably want to eat them all. Oh, I bet. Yes. Something else we're going to do. Now we've done this outside before, but we want to show you how easy it is to render your own lard. That I love. We're finding out the science is changing, that lard is not necessarily a bad thing anymore. In its purest form, it's actually rather good for you. So we need more desserts. We need more desserts. That's right. Wait that's a minute. That's what I do you with lard. You just learned the whole thing. Okay. <laughs> but if you're making desserts, I'm eating them. Okay. So let's get those going. Again, once that gets to boiling, we're going to let that go for about an hour and a half, maybe two hours. Mrs. Farmer all day long has been separating fat. I have. And skin. And this is how we came to this stage over here. I've run this through the grinder a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and run that through one more time, then we're gonna start our sausage. Now, all this comes to us from our pig that we raised. That's right. From Marge. I didn't like her. Marge bit Nikki she on the did. hand. I have a scar. She's got a scar. So. And immediately after that, I called. It's time to go to market. That's right. <laughs> so, anyhow, I think she mistook her hand for a donut because uh -huh. you were spoiling her. Uh -huh. You were spoiling her. So, anyway, this is our pig that we raised. It's so nice to know where your food comes from if right. you can do that. But I will say this everything that we got tonight, everything that we have, including the pig's feet, we even have a pig's head that we're going to be using for something later. Everything that we have, you can buy at your butcher shop. You can go and you can buy skin, mm -hmm. you can buy fat, right. you can buy feet, you can buy ears, you can buy just about it's anything cheap. at your butcher. It's yes, it is. Cheap. It's very cheap. There's nothing like having your own lard for your own recipes. That being said, there's also nothing like the breakfast sausage we're about That's to right. make. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to start with salt and pepper. And recently, I had to get a spice rack. It was so hard to dig around and find what you need. You're happy now, aren't you? I'm very happy. And you know, I got this spice rack and I was worried because I thought we'll never fill 60 spices. Well, we need another one about the same size. I found yes, out I have a lot of spices. Okay, for two pounds, we're gonna use two teaspoons of salt. Then we're gonna come back with two teaspoons of pepper, a teaspoon and a half of sage, because I like a lot of sage. Then we're gonna take about a teaspoon of garlic. Then I'm gonna crush some fennel seed up a little bit. Now I'm gonna probably do about close to a teaspoon of that. Then I'm gonna come back with some thyme. I'm gonna at least put a teaspoon of thyme in there. I'm gonna put one teaspoon of all seasoning spice in here. I'm gonna also add some minced onions, just a few dried minced onions, and then a little brown sugar. You don't have to do that. I like a little sweet, and then if you come back with some cayenne like I did this morning. Mm -hmm. Good sauce. Did you like that? It was delicious. And you don't like it hot. I know it. Then I found something at the store not too long ago, and it's just basically a chipotle smoked mm -hmm. paprika. Delish. I thought that really tastes good in that. And then I'm gonna put a dash at the end of just a little Italian mixed seasoning in there. 
As a lifelong sportsman, when I hosted Kentucky Field, I thought it was really our job as sportsmen to say, okay, I worked for the Department of Fish and Wildlife. When you take a deer down, what's the best way to take care of that deer and get every little bit of meat off there? And I had a buddy of mine come in and we showed how to process that deer and get every that. bit of rib meat, uh -huh. everything off of there. So that's kind of the same thing with a pig. There's a lot of good meat there and we don't want to waste any of it. That's right. Mmm. <laughs> Yum. <laughs> yeah. So anyhow, I promise you'll be eating. Uh -huh. I guarantee you. So Mrs. Farmer, if you will, if you can just let me pour it in while you yeah. scrunch it up. Now that was the third time through the meat grinder. All right. So that's about where it needs to be. After we're done mixing this, we're gonna set it in the refrigerator for a while. Then we're gonna come back and we're gonna have a little snack. And then if you want to, you can freeze this. We usually take a batch and we eat it. If we make quite a bit, we'll freeze it. We'll make patties. And then we'll take those patties and we'll put a little piece of freezer paper in between each one of them or a piece of wax paper in between each patty and then put them in a gallon bag and just turn it up on its side and have eight or 10 pieces oh, per yeah. bag and we're good to go. That smells really good. It does smell okay. In a minute, we're gonna pop that in the fridge. Then we're gonna start working on our lard. The whole time We've been working today, you've been cutting up fat. I have. Been cutting meat off of it. We're using the meat and a little bit of the fat for sausage, but the good looking pieces of fat that we have that goes in a crock pot. Normally we do this outside in a big black kettle, but it's raining yeah. again for the 76th day. So we're gonna pop this in a crock pot. You can do this in your own home. And again, you can go to the butcher and do this to yourself and make your own lard. I bought some lard in a store not too long ago. Wasn't impressed it with it. Doesn't taste like ours. Doesn't lard. taste like ours. So Ms. Farmer, if you'll pop this in. I will. And this will need to go eight or 10 hours. Now, the smaller you cut the pieces, now it's it's a lot more work. It is a lot of work. But the smaller you cut the pieces, the quicker it cooks down. Right. So we put our pig fat in here to render it down. We'll also, for this batch, it's gonna be a pretty decent sized batch. I'm gonna take about a half a cup of water and put in here. After that cooks for several hours, six, eight, 10 hours, that water will all cook out. You don't want to put the top on because what happens when you put the top on? All that condensation water just keeps going in, keeps going in, keeps going in. Once this cooks down, you'll know it. Start to smell good. You know what? Something smells really good. I think it's pig feet. You're going to love those. Mm, yum. You're going to love those. Mm -hmm. It's going to be your favorite thing. Pickled pig's feet. Mrs. Farmer's new favorite. So we're going to get this started. You excited? I really am. I need lard. I haven't had it in a while. Our lard. You know, you think about how precious this was mm -hmm. to the old timers. Pig killing was a big time. And the lard, they thought so much about it that they actually had lard presses. They'd squeeze every bit of that out that they could. Now, the great thing about this is we render it down once. Mm -hmm. The first pouring, which we're about to do right now, we'll filter through cheesecloth. That'll be nice and white-ish. Mm -hmm. The second one will be a little more savory, I guess you could say, a little more color to it, because we're going to keep rendering this down and yeah. rendering it down. On the third rendering, second or third, when you know you're kind of done, what do you have, Mrs. Farmer? Crackling. Crackling. Uh, That's what crack. we got. Yes, I eat Then we make cracking cornbread, right. and she eats till she gets sick. <laughs> That's right. So, Mrs. Farmer, if you like, we'll pour that off. All right, into here? Into there. This is the first rendering. excited about the lard. Look at that. That's apple pie, cherry pie, oh, calling my name. cookies. Mm -hmm. Calling my name because I get to eat them. That's a perfect jar. It is a perfect jar. Let's leave it at that. Okay, so Ms. Farmer, I'm going to put this on here and lightly seal it. You don't know how happy this makes me. Oh, I know how happy it makes you. It makes me happy because I get the bop. Ta-da. I'm going to set this right over here away from the heat so we can watch that in real time. All right, we have our first Beautiful jar of lard. I'm excited. We have our pig's feet, which oh, we're going to cover now. Good. I mean, yes. <laughs> and we have this fat that we've put back in here, already producing more lard. Good. Now, the second time around, as you know, it's a little bit darker. Mm -hmm. It's got a little more uh, piggy flavor. Yeah, that's all right. And that's great for frying stuff. Mm -hmm. It's great for seasoning skillets with. Mm -hmm. Absolutely wonderful. Mm -hmm. 
All right, Ms. Farmer, let's take our sausage, right. which has been chilled. You want all this out here? Uh, let's do about half of it. All right. Kind of oh, you smell that. It smells delicious. Mm, mm, mm. And if you had a cookie cutter, you could use that. We just use a small jar lid. To me, that makes about the right size patty. If you like them big, you can use a big jar lid. That smells really Doesn't good. Doesn't that smell good? Yes. All right, so let's just cut us out some pieces here, Mrs. Farmer. We'll take these and we'll put them in the freezer just for a little while to harden them up. Right. And then take that piece of freezer paper and put it just in between. Just cut a piece just big enough to put in between them. And you can put them right in the freezer. Now they say you don't want to watch sauces being made. Why is that? I have no problem with this. Now being that this is a small batch, Mrs. Farmer, there's going to be no freezing here. All right. Because there's breakfast tomorrow and there's breakfast the next day. And there's probably, ooh, snack. Like your soup you were talking about, huh? That would be good because sausage can be used in so many ways. That's a good looking plate right there, Mrs. Farmer. Yes, it is. Your pickled pig's feet are coming closer I'm so to the excited. end. I'm so excited. But I do have your sausage ready to go. And look at the lard. Look at the lard. It's getting colored. It's slowly turning white. And our sausage. Oh, that smells good. Oh, I take a little bit of our rendering lard over here and slit it right on in here. Oh, I'm telling you what, I'm not ringing my own bell or anything, but. The sausage right here. Now you saw what I did with the recipe. You can change that around however you like it. If you don't like as much sage, you want more time, you can do whatever you want. But I really, for my breakfast sausage, I like a lot of sage. Any recipe that we do on this show, it's not locked in stone. You can do whatever you want. There are no rules when it comes to cooking. Whatever makes you happy. Mm -hmm. And these are merely suggestions and things that we like in our kitchen. We will not come to your house and force you to do that. That's right. Now. Let me tell you about something else I got going on. All right, I want you to look at this piece of meat right here, Mrs. Farmer. You didn't see me fixing this up. Doesn't that look like, it looks like a roast, right? Yes, it does. Okay. Now, if you look right here, if you just kind of take a look at the shape of this, that is actually half of a pig's head. But look at the jowl bacon in the side of this. There's a whole lot of meat there. Funny, a buddy of mine the other day, he uh, got online and says, hey, Farmer, you ever smoke a pig head? And I probably did when I was a kid. Yeah. But you know what? Why not? You get all mm -hmm. that jowl bacon, all that good stuff. That's why you're so lucky tonight. And you not only get pickled pig's feet, but you have a smoked pig jowl bacon, we'll call it. Wow. In the smoker right now. Where's the tail? We didn't cook the tail? I lost it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Let's see if I can find it. We'll make something out of it. So some of these things may look odd, may look a little bit different, mm -hmm. but when it comes right down to it, Ms. Farmer, I promise I would never, have I ever given you something that was bad? No, you haven't, but I trust you. I can't wait, in all seriousness, I know how you like pickled stuff. Uh -huh. I can't wait for you to try these feet. We're no. gonna cook them tonight, we gotta let them sit in the fridge for a while. So and I can stare on the at next them. show, you get to try them. I'll stare at them for a while, <laughs> <laughs> that's exciting. Work up your courage. That's right. Boo must be over by the fence. I, I hear everybody barking. Mmm. 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 Wow. That makes me happy. That's really good. I think it might be better in this morning's batch. Mmm. I like that in a muffin with some cheese tomorrow morning. A pat on the shoulder? Pat on the cheek? <laughs> Rub on my hair? <laughs> I was going to burp you. Mmm. <laughs> Yum. Mm. That's really good. Mmm. Very good. You think that's good? Wait till you try the pickled pig's feet. I'm full, but I mean, no, I'll- No, you're not. Oh, okay, yeah. Mm. Oh, mm. Here, I'm gonna take one to Kelly. You ready? Mm -hmm. Now here's what I wanna do. I'm gonna take these out, now look. Yum. The bones are kinda coming out. Mm -hmm. If you dump that off, Mrs. Farmer. Dump the juice. And just kinda rinse them off. And then we're gonna make our pickling spices. Ready? Right. Mrs. Farmer, if you'll cut me some onion, Fingernail sized pieces and some celery. I'm gonna take some white vinegar. Now I'm gonna put just enough in here. We gotta be able to cover those pig's feet up. Oh wow, this is a strong onion. Whew. So look, you can see this coming off the Yummy. bone right here. Yeah. Why would you want to waste that meat? I don't want to waste Ooh. it. I bet Mojo would like that. No, no, Mojo okay. can't have this. Here's what we're going to do, Ms. Farm. We're going to take enough white vinegar to cover this. Okay. All right. And we've cut up a medium onion and some celery. Let's go ahead and put that in there. We're going to bring this to a boil. Now we're going to put in our 
sparkling spices. We'll start off with salt. We'll go about two tablespoons of salt. We're gonna do a teaspoon of telecherry peppercorns. Then we're gonna put, the rest of these are about anywhere from a half to a fourth, depending on what you like. We got some cloves, we got some coriander, we have some dill seed, we have some mustard seed, and we gotta have two bay leaves in there. We got some ginger, and that's where we're going with this. All right, so we've let that pickling solution go for about a half an hour. You smell that? It smells good. Uh -huh. So anyhow, I'm turning it back up. I'm gonna put the pig's feet in. Oh, that's gonna be so good, Miss Farmer. You're gonna love this. And right when I'm done with this, Miss Farmer, it'll be about time to pull the pig's head out. Wow. You know what? It's past my bedtime. <laughs> <laughs> now, we're gonna let that come to a boil. I'm serious. I know you haven't tried this. It's a sudden mm -hmm. thing. I'm very serious. I know your taste. You're gonna love this. You gotta let it set for six or seven days in the fridge. Okay. And I'm talking yum papa. Yum papa. <laughs> We have a lot going on in the kitchen tonight, so excuse our mess, but this is a working kitchen. This is not a set. This, right. is, this is where we live. This is our kitchen. We have our second rendering almost ready to happen here, and we got a bunch, a bunch of fat back there. Which right I need, there. yes. So that'll cook all night long, because that's a big, big yeah. bunch. We have a lot of lard. Our lard is sitting in the window over there. We'll show you what it looks like here in a minute. But Ms. Farmer, as soon as this gets up to boiling, I'm gonna shut it down, and we're ready to go. All right, Mrs. Farmer, that has come to a boil. It smells Not vinegary. It. it does. We turn the heat off. We're gonna take these out. And if you'll hold that jar up over here. All right, here's one. Now all this meat is gonna set in there and it's gonna cool. And all these wonderful flavors are gonna surround that. This is, I got on special occasions when we visit folks. Not very often would I get these. You can buy these in the store, you know. I used to buy them in the store. But I think they're better homemade, I really do. I could kind of tighten that down. Now I know, that doesn't look like much right now. But Mrs. Farmer. It's gonna be delicious. Oh, you just wait. It's gonna be your new favorite. I would give Kelly one as a present. I don't know. I don't know if I want her to have one. I like really? it so much. All right. Now here we go, Mrs. Farmer, with our pickled pig's feet. Now in a store, to make them look more attractive, a lot of times they'll, they'll dye them red, the juice red okay. and everything. Can you throw a bead in there or something? Yeah, it makes them look more attractive. All but right. for me, I'm all about the flavor. So what do we got right here? Pickled pig's feet, Mrs. Farmer. Mm-hmm. Now in a second, we'll dry these up. But right now, Mrs. Farmer, I gotta check your pig's head. Okay. So I'm gonna give you the best bite. Oh, there it is, right here. Take a bite of that right there, it's hot. It's like bacon. That is bacon, it's a gel it bacon. It's like bacon. They're good? Mm-hmm. I knew you like it. What did you like the best tonight? I am like my lard that I haven't even got to eat yet. What about the sausage? Oh, the sausage was delicious. I'm just excited about my lard. I tell you what, let's get it out. I put it in the refrigerator after it got sufficiently cool. Let's see what it's starting to look like now. See right Looking there? Looking good. See, I'm excited It's still about got a ways that. to go. Wow, but I'm that's excited. that's your lard. It's still, it's still runny right now. But by the end of the day, that's gonna be solid white. That was a whole pig we mm -hmm. used. Yes. There's one other time we used a whole pig, Mrs. Farmer. I remember that. In La Cajashina. I can't even say that. <laughs> I took a whole pig and cooked it right out here in the driveway. I remember so, that. And you ate every bit that of that. You ate feet, delicious. ears, that was everything. Delicious. Let's take a look at that. Now there's some guys in Miami that had this idea from Chinatown in Cuba. It's called La Caja China. It's a box, a hot box, that cooks this stuff. Remember the turkey that we did? Do you remember the trash can turkey? 90 minutes we had a 12 pound turkey cooked. Convection, charcoal, the exact opposite of that. Four hours we can cook a whole pig. Now, we're gonna have a temperature gauge in this animal while it's cooking so we make sure we get that internal temperature up to 175 or so before we flip it. We're gonna put a little dry rub on the outside of it. This is my homemade dry rub. A little dry rub on the outside. You don't want this animal wet. Turn it back over, inject it with a simple marinade. Two parts orange juice, one part pineapple juice, two tablespoons of oregano, one tablespoon of cumin, 
and a bunch of fresh garlic, which we're gonna mash up here. We'll make this simple marinade. You put it in a little cage, clamp it down so you can turn it over. So what we're gonna do is basically strain the, the solid parts out of the juice. So we're gonna do two, three shots after we strain it and get the solid parts out. Now save those solid parts, because you're gonna want that to go loosely on the top side of the pig. Three shots in the hams, a couple in the shoulders, and you are good to go. At that point, we're gonna put more dry rub around on him and he'll be ready to go. Now, we're gonna take this guy, take this rack, set it down inside the box. When we get him in there, again, belly side up. Now I'm gonna stick my thermometer down in there. The deepest part of that ham. I'm gonna rig that to come up here and go underneath of that. All right, now how cool is this that the directions are inside the box? You can't mess this up. Our pig is definitely over 50 pounds. So what we're gonna do is start out with 16 pounds of charcoal in the beginning. I use self-light because it's so simple and we're not actually cooking food over the charcoal. We're just using the heat from the charcoal. And I'm not gonna start counting my first hour until it gets nice and white and I know it's ready to go. Now most of the time, when you see us do a recipe, it's something we've already done. This is an experiment for you to see. It'll unfold right before your eyes. Let's see how it does. I'm hoping this is as magic as I think it is. Because can you imagine cooking a whole pig in four hours? I can imagine it. In fact, I'm thinking about it. After one hour, you add eight more pounds to the existing charcoal. All right, it's been an hour. The smells coming out of this thing is tremendous. Eight pounds. After the half hour, you're gonna put 10 pounds on. After that last half hour, dispose of the ashes, turn the pig over, then you score the skin and let him go for about a half hour until you get him just like you want it. Look at this guy. He looks good. See that right there? Wow. That's when you know it's done. That skin is so delicious. We're not gonna eat it right now because it makes too much noise, but wow. Now, one thing we did find out about La Cajashina is it should take four hours. Now, this is a bigger pig. Because it was cool, you might have to put a little more charcoal on it and let it cook a little bit longer. You did good. But look at that. That's the color you want. That's the texture you want. That is a beautiful, beautiful thing. The only thing is, the guy I got the pig from asked for a small pig. <laughs> he gave me a big pig. So I invited some of my friends over. You did. To let them be the guinea pigs. Good idea. And let's chow, how about that? Okay. Come on in, guys. That's good, crunchy. I'm going in this loin here. Look at that. Here's some more skin. Mm. That's like the best, the skin's the best. Now we're gonna chow. Miss Farmer, believe it or not, that half hour's up. It's all about good times, good friends, and really good eats. And we'll see you next week on Tim Farmer's Country Kitchen. To order a cookbook, email timfarmerck at gmail.com.